in this clip i'm going to show how code written in notepad that is the text editor of windows environment can be used on the prism casio prism cg10 calculator so this what you see here under the word topic is actually the quadratic equation code written in notepad when this is imported here in the casio prism it doesn't get translated exactly as it looks here but this is how it will look this clip is different from my previous video clip in which some important programming features were not explained and those are here see the notepad will ha have each line ending with hit enter character which looks like this here is another character here is there is another so the line must enter uh, must end with either hit enter character or it could enter with this display character but then there is this hit enter immediately following that so whenever the code is written in notepad so make sure that each line you are hitting enter if not corresponding to this display character you have a word d i s p s which i was not really aware of its spelling last time and i had erroneously written d i s p it doesn't matter if you do not know exactly what the word is you write whatever your guess is it will remain as it is in your code when you execute and will be found as syntax error then you can correct that so there is one display here there is another display here as you see here second one and the third one which correspond to these two one more thing that i would like to show that makes writing code comparatively easy is this and let me divide this in two parts so in the notepad it's good idea to write if then else and then we have the last if end this structure as it is right like this so that you won't forget any of these parts and then it becomes easy to debug uh, these kind of errors are difficult to find because they are somewhere in the manual and trial and error takes a very long time it's very tiring so you write if whatever your code is there that will go here like here after then like here then is there this was if whatever you want to write it goes here similarly if you have more than one statement here is one second each statement ending with hit enter character so no real roots so where is that no real roots here is the hit enter character see when you have very long message to output to the screen it will go on to the next line like this so try to keep this in mind and your messages to screen should be as short as possible so here is your second message third message and then you have hit enter character at end of each line then this else is there then there are again 
three statements, four, five statements, and then the oh six, seven statements actually, and then there is the last if end. So we will run the program, see that this code is working, and then delete it, and then bring back afresh. I am going to use for debugging purpose x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 as my quadratic equation. So this is x minus uh, x plus 1 x plus 1 equal to 0. So my x1 is minus 1 x2 is minus 1 equal roots then your d discriminant is 0 and as you see here a is 1 b is 2 and c is 1. So we will put those numbers. Here is the execute. So I am going to say execute. Now you can see that these two lines are exactly as they appear here, which are here also. And the question mark means it is waiting for you to input. When you enter, this arrow is going to assign it to variable A. So we enter 1 remember this 1, 2 and 1 we wanted. So we get 1, enter, 2, enter and the C, enter. So discriminant is calculated as 0 as expected. When you see display that means it is waiting for you to enter. Then we have 2 roots R that is the statement here. 2 roots R and this is the first root x. This is x. It is waiting. Then it will display y. This is not display. The display is here. There is only calculation done here. So I am entering and I am getting second root as minus 1. Again it is waiting because there was the display character. So hit enter. Then this line which prompts you to read what is below it says hit enter to exit. So your program is not hanging if you do not do anything. You are expected to hit enter so that program can end. So it ends and you are out of the program. That was when else part was executed. Let us execute the if part that means if it is negative discriminant. And from my previous trial runs we want to keep these things simple. So I am going to enter a as 2, B as 3 and C as 4 thereby I get D which is negative and uh, we will find out B square minus 4 AC. So 16 minus uh, no 9 minus 4 AC is going to be 32. So minus 23 let us see. Uh, we will do that with the program and A is 2, so I am entering 2, then I have B as 3 and then C as 4, S just simple numbers for us to remember and here is discriminant is negative. So I am going to be executing now if D is negative, so what I get is no real roots, it is displaying this. So you must enter and so D negative no real roots here it says hit enter to exit and that is how we exit the program. So these two files are really exactly same except modifications of characters done by the Casio at the end of the line. Another thing that you need to really see is when you write capital S Q R T D, this gets translated like this. How do we know that we need to write like this? We do not. You simply have to write a small code, one or two line in which you have only simple one formula to see output it and see what it gives out. That way you can see it. Otherwise, you can see in the manual that if you need the square root sign, what is the text corresponding to that? You can do that also. So all these things are done uh, fairly easily. The problem really occurs because syntax errors will be there. 
not keeping space and things like that but with time you can certainly remove those errors also so now this demonstration is over so i need to do the other part that means delete this and it is f4 and then import it again to show that part that it was a notepad file so we have nothing now here so i am exiting the program i will go to the memory in which the text file corresponding to that executable is still there we need to remove that to really show that it's working from scratch so open this memory the files are stored in f2 storage memory so i am going to open that this is the folder which again last time i was not familiar with creation of all these things so i did not create a folder in my last clip and stored that in the root directory not a good practice but now we do know so select that and open it in order to open hit enter so this is the file now we want to delete this and we haven't been able to delete because we didn't select so there is a select now if you say delete it will delete and it's gone so now we don't have anything and in order to check that there is nothing there you can see that no data is there so let us import now from scratch so we go to f3 and we need to import so f2 and we need to put the file in mpc text so i am going to select that going down and execute oh okay i did not do something correctly f3 makes it oh i must have clicked export i should do import so here is import here is my folder quadratic equation i don't see any files because the extension is not chosen correctly we need to choose all and here is my text file so i'm opening that it was brought in it wants you to tell where you want to save it it will bring it to the root as i told you create a folder and save it there so it's easy to keep track when you have opened it save it and now it is copying it is saved exit just to make sure that it is there we go and check that it is the same file you cannot open this file here you will have to go to the program so i am going out go to the menu all program files get loaded in program so open it nothing is there because we haven't loaded it so say new oh not new we should say next which is load so f4 is load and the file is in mpc text so we open that that's the file and you say open and now it will be copied and brought as a compiled code i think in the program list under so it's here so now you can see that it still works i am going to quickly do 2 3 so 2 sorry 3 and 4 we get minus 23 hit enter and that worked one more time we do 1 to 1 to get known roots 1 2 and 1 the other part equal roots minus 1 and minus 1 and again it will exit and hit enter and so the program works so, so this is how one can write in notepad bring it in casio once it starts working don't forget to export it so that you will have a copy of your program that part is fairly easy which is done in memory 
uh, which I erroneously uh, did by clicking I think F2 that time instead of uh, yeah export F2 so you should be able to export this file to the flash disk or wherever you want to export that so again open this choose that and then for exporting you need to select and then use copy uh, 